survey an area for potential new sites, the methods that we've used have changed a lot over the years. As the industry's progressed, we've added a lot more science into that process. We collect a lot of oceanographic data, then we do a lot of modeling with that so that we can predict potential impacts on fish health, potential impacts on the Benzik community. Once the sites are selected and the site plan has been developed, anchors are positioned in the ocean. Mooring blocks are attached to the anchors, then grid plates secure each of the cells into a grid format, to which the cages are attached using bridles. We have made significant improvements over the years in the infrastructure we use. We take great care to ensure every piece of equipment is tested and certified for use, as well as tracked and replaced appropriately. We put in all of the forces that the, the site is going to withstand and it goes through a numerical modeling that would react to the fatigue state, the normal state, and the storm state. And with that comes a breaking strength or a load factor that's assigned to it. That helps us verify if the safety factor is met and the safety factor is usually five to one. We prepare under the worst conditions possible through 50 year weather plans. We track the individual components and the assets from cradle to grave. There's a life cycle from when it was built, who built it, when it was built. If we do any type of replacement, we would trace it all over again. We look at how we repair the nets and where we repair the nets. And also we do testing in our lab on the fibers themselves to be able to forward trend to make sure that the products will last in the water. Part of every production cycle involves third-party monitoring of the environment uh, around, below, and above the salmon farm, both before salmon are introduced to the farm, but also at what's called peak biomass, when the maximum amount of fish is on the farm. We essentially go out to all of the marine fin fish sites and collect sediment samples from Cage Edge. Uh, we're essentially looking for um, sulfides and organic enrichment to see if the benthic environment is being affected uh, by the farm activities. A lot of these sites have been operating for over 30 years. So if you stop and think about the amount of data that we've collected, it's, uh, it's very astronomical really. And what that allows us to do is be able to use this data to better predict what will happen on our farm. We're, we're constantly looking at ways and how we can improve our equipment that we can run greener, more responsibly, more efficiently. We have focus groups inside of our operations that specifically would focus on doing inspections and audits on the sites. We have five engineers on staff with a mix of disciplines that they bring. Sustainable development will continue to be in the forefront of our strategic growth strategy as a company operating in a fragile and very important marine environment. If we find a piece of equipment or a technology somewhere around the world that is good for our people, good for our fish, and is good for the environment, it's generally a very easy sell to get executive management to make those purchases. We have a workforce that has been around for a long period of time. And, and they want to continue to farm and this is their livelihood and we want to make sure that we continue this through the future generations.